Holbosch, as it's pronounced, is one of the most geographically unique places in Mexico. This car-free island is located on the very north tip of the Yucatan Peninsula and separated from the mainland by a nature reserve that's home to flamingos, pelicans, sea turtles, and whale sharks. You won't find much cell signal or Wi-Fi, and it's not unusual to lose power out here. The beach slowly turns into a sandbar that seems almost endless and you can wade to your heart's content with the water coming no higher than your waist. Come along with us here as we take you in this video by car, driving from the Cancun area, cross the ferry, walk the beach, take you on a villa tour, grab some food, enjoy the sunset, and even witness the bioluminescent plankton that come out at night. Share a thumbs up with us if you're enjoying it already and sit back and enjoy the island. In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on trip. The only way to get to Holbosch is one of two ferries which leave every half hour, which makes that really easy. We just drove and parked right here at the terminal, so that makes that really easy. And there are plenty of buses and stuff from Cancun and other areas around to get to this point. The ferry costs 150 pesos a person one way. Fingers crossed we don't get rained on. for the next 48 hours. you might like to see it. So come on inside. Ta-da! This is it! <laughs> but this is all we need. And the fact that we are on the beach here is everything. And have air conditioning. Very important here in August. This is called Villas Encanto. It is about $120 a night, which is pretty expensive for this, I don't know, for if you're on a backpacking budget, but we are paying a higher price point because they only had one room left and they're dog friendly and so we just grabbed it because it was worth it to us to be on the beach. If you are looking for something a little bit more budget than that, there's loads of hostels and cheaper accommodation that are in town and then you can just walk a couple blocks to the beach. But included, we have these super sweet orange wristbands and we have uh, awesome access to the like hammocks and chairs area on the water too. Um, so enough of, oh, you want to look at the bathroom? We can look at the bathroom. We're like actually, we've had a night in here already, so you know, things are like lived in, but these things look brand new. And there's actually a water pressure, surprise. Uh, and we have this weird nook thing over here with like another bed. It's not weird, it's for a friend. It's for a friend. This is a triple, like I said, this is like weirdly excessively large, but everything else was booked out. You can also stay in these really cute glamping yurt things here. Uh, so we'll show you some of those, but we don't want to like creep on anyone else's room because this is fully booked. Also, there's a shared kitchen with toast and jam and coffees and little things to share. So that's really nice. We'll show you that. Include that here and then... Um, the, the whole reason we booked it here is the most beautiful beach we've ever seen, so let's go check it out.
everybody walking through town. We came in here for the ATM, so there is an ATM on the island, that's good. Uh, but we're thinking it might be a little bit more scenic and nice to hang out on the beach. So let's go find some lunch. What Allison means is it's just too damn hot in town to be, it's just, you can see we're just sweating out all the sunscreen and our faces are white right now. You just can't be in here, it's so still. So at least there's a breeze coming off of the ocean. <laughs> Pepper, how long have you lived here? Yeah. <laughs> Locals. Oh, you're going after it. That's the way, go. She's gonna ruin her new collar. Pepper, we're gonna have to wash that. Quick time out, talk about something serious. We've, oh, it's very serious. It's very serious. We've had the whole day to compare notes on this and we've decided the beach here, like if you're going for beach vacation in Mexico, you you can do much worse than here. It's, it's a wide the beach. The scale is you could do worse. <laughs> you could do much worse. Uh, it's just, it's super clean. They're, High on my list in the ranking is there's not people running up to you trying to sell you stuff, like bothering you nonstop, like in uh, Sayulita. Is like, this the best beach we've ever been to anywhere? Best like, beach in Mexico for me, I think. Yeah, but name a better beach anywhere. Uh, the Philippines is some pretty nice beaches. <laughs> no, like in that sand, like this, where we were, like there's Borokai, which we haven't been to. And then it's like beautiful water and stuff, but like Panglao, Coron, there was no sand beach. Since Tim never knows the names of where we are anyways, I'll this, go ahead and say this. This place is, is really, okay, when we were in Tulum, <laughs> it felt very divided. It was like, this is my restaurant, this is my part of the beach. And yes, you could walk down it, but this is just so wide here. And then the Epic. water is super shallow going mm. out and uh, you can just walk so far. And everybody's just like laying half in the water, like tanning. It's. Uh, it's awesome, I think. No seaweed think here. People are happy. The seaweed problem along the Sargasso, East Coast. Yeah. Sargasso. Yeah. Fine. And there's a ton to do. That is a hell of a thorough beach report. Great beach. <laughs> there's just hammocks everywhere. It's amazing. Bring a book. <laughs> Tulum. Tulum. Oh, gosh. Go see our Tulum video if you want to see more of Tulum. <laughs> Cooper habla español, sí, sí español. Buen gachorro. Sí, yeah. Qué bueno, Cooper. Qué bueno. Ay, Cooper. Ay, buen gachorro. Mi vida. How you talk to dogs in Spanish? Ah, uh, más, más amor. Ay, corón. Ay, Cooper, bueno. Bien hecho. If you're not going to just sit and read your Kindle on the beach, you can rent bicicletas for bicicletas. something to do. Finny is going to do something really entertaining. It's called Get Pepper in a Basket on a Bike. These all look about the same, but maybe this one is... I think the plastic basket for sure. That one has like a bigger bottom. Yeah. She can sit like in this. It's like you plan this out ahead of time a little bit. Has Pepper done this before? Oh look, the seat's already super tall. Okay, beep up, watch out, beep beep. Last time we did this was in Guadalajara, Pepper was in the backpack. We don't have the backpack with us right now. Oh, this was dumb, I brought this too. This is all of Pepper's 
other items that we travel. I can throw them in oh, my basket and wear the backpack. Oh, I'll let you choose your own bike. Damn straight. <laughs> you ready? You wanna go for a ride? You wanna go for a ride? Okay, come on. Oh, good. Yeah, we. Okay, stay. Okay, we're good. Is that as easy as it is? Dog size. That's pepper size. Listo. All right, I'm gonna go choose a bike. Okay. I'm choosing the one with the baby basket in the back. <laughs> that way I have room for your purse in my backpack. Smart. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, are you being careful? Yeah. I'm just making sure she wasn't gonna just start like moving around and shift the weight on the bike or something. Is this easier or harder than riding a motorbike in Vietnam? <laughs> I, there's more at stake. Good girl. If you want a great return on investment in a new business, you buy some $50 bikes and you rent them out for $5 for two hours and make your money back fast. Careful of cards. We gotta use these bikes for two hours. We paid big money for them. Derecha? I think I prefer motorcycles. It's a lot easier. Look at you navigating these rocks. Do you think your experience in Vietnam helps? It does help, yeah. It does? It does help. So it was a worthwhile endeavor. Bicycles are just easy now. Yeah? Not when you have precious cargo up on front. I know. A whole new ball game. You probably wouldn't have the confidence if you hadn't motorbiked thousands of kilometers. This is really hard pedaling. I'm gonna break a sweat. And using a GoPro, it's way easier with one hand and a brake. We're trying to race for sunset. Play a Coco. Here, hold this. It's always a race for sunset. Keep missing it. Also, uh, no service here. We have like two bars of 3G and no Wi-Fi at our place. The 3G is a lie. Damn yeah, lie. you know, like when it's 3G, but it's not. So there's no trip tomorrow. But you guys already lived through, you all survived. This was like six months ago. <laughs> I'm not even getting maps. Oh, look, we have to make sunset. If we don't make sunset, we won't see the sun go down. And it'll be the third day in a row we haven't seen the sun go down. We have to get there. Oh my God. Will they get there? Stay tuned. Well, right now. <laughs> this just in. Nope, sorry. It's unclear if they make it. Only time will tell. Based on the lighting on this villa, we can see that the sun is not yet set. Wait, boy. You see the light. I see the light. There. We're gonna make it. We're almost there. Mas rápida. Pepper's going as fast as she can. I think it's gone. I think it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> At the buzzer. So awesome. Dude, that's so epic. You got your first sunset in three nights. What do you think? <gasps> so worried. I feel so good. Now we're just gonna enjoy it and then we're gonna tell you a little bit about the bioluminescence.
But it's okay, smile. He's got a secret. I just talked to an expert on the subject here and oh. apparently we're staying at Playa Coco Point because the bioluminescence is coming out. Okay, so the bioluminescence tours <laughs> on the island take you here. So the thought is we have the bikes for another hour. We're going to wait it out and see if we can see them while we're here. And there's, but there's so many, like there's so many mosquitoes. There's so many mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes. So we're gonna see if Ugh. we can make Let's it. Let's go, let's go. On a scale from one to Michigan, how bad are the mosquitoes? Wisconsin. In the fading light, Allison Finney <laughs> navigates the crab infested water. Oh, there's another one. They're just horseshoe crabs. No, that one was a pincher crab. Oh, look at that guy go. Look at him. That guy's cruising. So there's quite a few people out here that are probably doing the same thing, waiting it out. But like, we look like the only people who are having a miserable time. Like there are so many mosquitoes and like people are just like taking sunset pictures and stuff. And like, I get, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is just how everybody's got their like Instagram outfits and stuff. <laughs> you have your Instagram outfit. This is my Instagram outfit. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've seen the bioluminescence, but we don't know how to film it, so we're gonna end the video here and just tell you that it was amazing. See you next week. <laughs> we just. <laughs> We just got back to our hotel room. Don't don't ask me. This was <laughs> yeah. This was not my choice. <laughs> no, well, just do this so it's fresh. But uh, power was out here. Water still worked. We needed a wash after splashing around in the bioluminescence. Uh, and and all being the eaten alive by mosquitoes. Yeah. So while it was fresh, we thought we'd say, hey, if you're here, all those tours, you don't need to do it. You can go on a bike and just bike back. That's easy enough. Yeah. There were taxis taking just a stream of people out there. You can always grab a taxi back. It's not even that far to walk, really. It's not that terrible. Yeah, you could. You could walk. Yeah. But we heard like the beginning spiel with all the education and all that stuff going on in the tour. Maybe you're really into that. Most of the time we just hear that and it's lost a second. We just want to like splash the water and see it light up. Right. That was yeah, really cool. But maybe, I don't know like what else you might get with the tour. Like maybe you can see it on the boat. Like maybe it's like splashing out. I don't know. So or, or maybe you go on the boat to a place that you can't get to by land. Like yeah. you go way down and it's super dark or something. So I, we're not like trashing the tour, but like you can also just DIY it and that was no big deal. And then including it with sunset was really easy because it's a beautiful new place to see sunset over on that side. And then uh, wait for the bioluminescence. Just, yeah. You just have to make it through that half hour of mosquitoes. Seeing Pepper splash around with little halos of light under her was one of the best moments in my entire life. <laughs> I wish I could have filmed it. We likely have terrible footage because it didn't look like we were capturing it. So we haven't reviewed it, but I'm, I don't I'm think sure that we have bad. it. Yeah, <laughs> but really cool to see. Loved it. Yeah, yeah, worth it. Worth the bug bites. Now I guess we're gonna... <gasps> and we're back. That was perfect timing. Wait, All right, wait, let's wait, go wait, enjoy wait. some AC. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. <Yay>! 14 YouTube comments. <laughs> That girl shouldn't be whining. Lots of people don't see any sunsets at all. That dog should not be in that basket. They weren't even wearing helmets. <laughs> Her butt looks big. <laughs> Why are they in Mexico? <sighs> they paid way too much for that hotel. <laughs> 160 for two bikes for two hours? I have a bike guy. 20 pesos for all day. You guys should have done the whale shark tour. You didn't even see anything. <laughs> now we're just terrible copy at paste, filming. Copy paste link in the description. We made it. Don't worry, we made it. Oh.